Sunday the 17th of September, 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join us on Zoom and on YouTube for the official relaunch of the Priest Isaacs Institute of Holistic Knowledge website, priestisaacinstitute.com. Our website has been upgraded and has been made more easily accessible to you. On priestisaacinstitute.com, you will find all that you need for your holistic growth. We offer certified courses in ancient astronomy and ancient archaeoastronomy, as well as our international homeschool program for children of all ages. At PriestIsaacInstitute.com, we not only offer our books, video documentaries, and webinars, we also have available food preparation courses and cooking classes. In the field of raw foods, as well as idle plant-based cuisines. Do you shop online for your nuts, grains, etc.? We have that too. Get all your necessities from your agave, honey, spices, all your nuts and so on. Now don't forget our online clothing labeled with our icons. You can get your sweaters, t-shirts, even hoodies. The Tiger's Nest. And speaking of the Tiger's Nest, Radio Anu International, 24-hour internet radio, giving you positive, conscious information and inspiration throughout the day. Again, on the 17th of September, 2023, mark the date from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join us on Zoom or on the Priest Isaac's YouTube channel for the official relaunch of PriestIsaacInstitute.com. Zoom VIPs will receive a special gift. To get your Zoom link, go to the website PriestIsaacInstitute.com or email us at PriestIsaacInstitute at gmail. 17th of September. Be there. Oh yes, blessed love to each and every one. Give thanks for your presence with us. Of course, you know, we glorify the life given the keeper of life, Emperor Haile Selassie I. And yes, family, you heard it right there. It is the 17th day of September. That is not too long from now. 2023, I'm talking about the relaunch, not the launch, the relaunch of the Priest Isaacs Institute of Holistic Knowledge website. This is going to be grand. But here, listen, family, are you listening? Do you know what is going to make this day very special? This is the day, if you haven't heard, this is the day that I will be officially exposing my natal child. Rastafari, we have created the whole ancient astronomy natal chart reading material for anyone who desires to understand and comprehend exactly what was taking place in the heavens when they came into the earth. Let me say, first of all, this is a special chalice talk. Oh, yeah, where am I? I'm right here, you know. This is a very special, oh, beautiful. This is a very special chalice talk as we are entering into the Sabbath day. So we won't be too long. But what I want to do today, I want to give you a sneak preview of what will be taking place on Sunday. Family, how many of you have your natal chart? I know in astrology, they have a natal chart where you have the circle and the blue line and the yellow line and all of that stuff. I mean, I would have studied it. I understand what they are trying to express, but that's not a natal chart. I will be, listen to me, I'm not fighting with no astrologer. I didn't come to look in uh, no war. I'm just expressing to the people, you know me by now. You know me by now. Our ancient astronomy course have clearly has clearly showed to the international community, you know, how precise Ancient astronomy, not just modern day astronomy, definitely not astrology, is ancient astronomy. So the natal chart that I would have prepared for myself, I have my own natal chart tonight. 
I'm going to be giving you just a sneak preview of my natal chart. But on Sunday, the 17th of September, I will be reading and presenting. I will be reading and presenting my whole natal chart for you and everyone to see and hear. And I will express to you exactly what a natal chart is really all about. This is something that you want to be a part of. And when I am done, everyone will have to get a copy of their own natal chart. Now, my family, let me be clear here. The natal chart is an in-depth, precise document, not just in words, but even in, in a, a picture as well. You will definitely have to have a, a visual outlook on where planets were located at the time of your, your birth, as they call it, what we say in Rastafari, your bonding. So in a moment, remember this is chalice talk, so I have the chalice here with me and I'm going to light up the chalice now. But let me, let me tell you, in a moment, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you an idea, you know, again, a little preview or sneak preview, as they call it, into what will be taking place on Sunday. Why they call it sneak preview, by the way? We ain't sneaking up, no. We ain't no sneaky business here. You'll be getting a preview. You gotta be careful with these words. You will be getting a preview of exactly what we will be going into on Sunday for the relaunch. Now, the relaunch is gonna be big. It, it will be more than just the natal chart. But the natal chart aspect, that's the presentation that I will be giving. And trust me, just stay with me a few more moments as I light my chalice family. And then I'm going to, as I said, as I promised you, I'm going to be giving you a good idea of exactly what to expect on Sunday. I'm talking about with the launch of our ancient astronomy natal chart and the relaunch of specifically our ancient um our website for the priest isaac's institute of holistic knowledge don't go anywhere as i take a draw of my chalice i hope you got yours blessed love I am the Honorable Priest Isaac. I am an official priest within the realms of Rastafari of the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress. I also hold a certification in the craft of Accio Astronomy from Politecnico de Milano in Italy. Our universe and its maker has always been an intriguing subject for humankind. Astronomy is the study of everything in the universe beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Ancient astronomy is similar but pays special attention to the physical and spiritual values of stars, planets, moons and other celestial objects. It also brings in the terrestrial component, being things on an earthly plane, such as plants, human organs, and connects them to the heavenly bodies. In this course, you will learn the makeup of various planets and stars, how to locate them in the night sky, along with their associated constellations. You will also be taught about the earliest civilizations known for their astronomical comprehension, namely Kush, also known as ancient Ethiopia, Kemet, called Egypt today, the Dogans, and the Bozos, as well as the civilization of Sumer. You will also learn about black holes, their nature and origin, as well as how the ancients viewed them. Ancient astronomy is the mother of archaeoastronomy 
and the astral theology. Both subject areas are covered by the Priest Isaacs Institute of Holistic Knowledge. Sign up today. Visit our website priestisaacinstitute.com or email us priestisaacinstitute at gmail.com for more information. And yes, family, this is a very serious thing that we are talking about here. This is our ancient astronomy course. Make sure that you are a part of it, definitely. Now, as I said, where am I here? Okay, perfect. As I said, I want to begin uh, to, to, to show the family exactly what the ancient astronomy uh, natal chart reading is all about. So this is what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to put up the sky chart for you. And of course, you know, I'm going to put all the lines in order and even the, the Greek rendition of the pictures at first. Now, what you're looking at, this is 1023 on the second day of January, 1996. And that's the day your brother, um, the moment really, your brother came out of his beloved mother's womb. Now, this is how my natal chart begins. This is the ancient astronomical chart of the honorable priest, Isaac. This chart reading will detail the apparent position and the precise position of each planet, including Pluto, at the exact or approximate time of his birth. The moment that he was born, this will include planets and their coordinates, as well as the constellation that they were in. Digital photos will be provided. The natal chart reading will also provide an in-depth interpretation of the planetary positions. And then it goes on, and let me tell you, on Sunday, the 17th of September, when I present this, we all will be able to see it on the screen. So you will be able to see, it's gonna be beautiful. Eh? I just don't wanna give you uh, no snake preview, giving you a preview so that <laughs> it will somewhat whet, whet your appetite as they say. But for sure, we will show you the full presentation. You will see exactly how the document is uh, put together, cover page, uh, title page, and exactly what I am reading to you. Then it also has the born date, which is the date of birth. And of course, that is, and these are the different, these are the different aspects of it. The born date, time of birth, which is very important. And individuals who do not have the exact time of birth they have an approximate reading. So there is a precise natal chart reading and there is an approximate natal chart reading. This is something unique, of course, to ancient astronomy. I don't think you might get that in astrology whatsoever. And then after the precise uh, location of the heavenly bodies, plus their exact coordinates, that means their right ascension and declination, which would be equivalent to longitude and latitude, then you also have an astronomical interpretation of the positions of the planet. I hope uh, I'm clear. And then a, a special observation, which is very unique. So that is basically how the document itself is, as they would say, broken down that is the different chapters and different sections. So for example, now, date of birth or born day, as I said before, the 2nd of January, 1976. Are you following me? 
for those who may just be coming in or whatever the case is, I am presenting to you or giving you just a little idea of my, my, my natal chart, my ancient astronomical natal chart. So what my natal chart is nativity, the day that you were born, in my case, the very minute that I was born, exactly what was taking place mm -hmm. in the heavens. This is not religion. This is not anything spooky. This is just reality. This doesn't have anything to do with the shape of the earth, because if the earth was a rectangle, a cylinder, or whatever it was, we all look up and see the same thing. We all look up and see Jupiter, uh, uh, inside of the Virgin constellation at a specific time. Even if you don't believe it's Jupiter and you think it's just this orange ball floating in mid-air, well, the orange ball floating in mid-air that we all can see is situated, obviously, apparently, between the stars that make up the constellation of Virgo, you know, the, the Virgin. So, I mean, this is deep stuff. Now, I'm just saying that so I can meet you halfway across the sky. But I know for sure that we are looking at the apparent movements of the heavenly bodies. I'm talking about the planets that rotate and revolve around the sun, the very said sun that, yes, is 93 million miles away from the planet. And it's like take eight minutes and 32 seconds, very similar to that of the human blood to even go around the goody wants the blood itself, the blood as it goes around the body as it traverses around the body. The time it takes to do that is the same time the light of the sun takes to, to hit the, the, the earth. And we always understood this. This is why the Great Pyramid of Giza is such a very important monument as it highlights all of these ancient scientific facts. I'm talking about the cycle of the, the, the blood and the, the light of the the sun to the earth and the distance of the sun from the earth by just doing the mathematical um, the mathematical sums and mathematical problems as such and gives you it gives you the answer of course pi epsilon uh, phi these are key numbers that you find in the pyramid I'm sure you understand when you take for example the king's chamber and you take the length and the width and the, the the height and you divide and multiply them so many different things come into into being like for example pi 3.141 i think when you take the same grand gallery the height and the width of the grand gallery and you add it and i think if you divide that by the length pi appears again you do the same thing with the queen's chamber you know the, the size of the pyramid pi just keeps appearing when you take one side, add it to the other side, divide it by the other side, pi appears again. And, and in the same way, this is how we, we, we got the distance of the sun from the earth, 93 million miles. Again, by utilizing the size of the pyramid and its incline and, and doing the maths. So, so again, the pyramid itself, in its very mystic way, would have expressed you know, what is taking place in the heavens and and astronomy, ancient astronomy in general. So again, uh, returning to the natal chart. Again, so the natal chart for those who are just gathering what I'm saying. We all have a natal chart, whether it's written or not, because we all came out of our mother's womb and things were happening in the heavens. That's just a fact. You know, the sun may have been rising, whether you believe the sun don't really rise, I know the sun don't rise. I know that for sure. It is the earth rotating and revolving. But at the time you came out of your mother's womb, you know, the atmosphere on the planet was that the, the, the bright ball that seems the light of the day was coming over the horizon, or so it appears. Whether it was really rising or it was an optical illusion or whatever, it was coming over. And mystically, it was inside of this constellation that looks like a lion, you know. Or maybe when you were born, the same sun, sun was setting. And it was inside the constellation, you know, that, that looks like the, the two fish, which is Pisces. 
but something was happening in the heavens. Mars was somewhere. Venus was somewhere. You cannot run from this. Uh, 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 Mercury was in some constellation. Now you may feel that this doesn't mean anything. Okay. But that doesn't take away the fact that the sun was rising when you were born. That doesn't take away the fact that when you came out of your mother's womb, the sun was setting. That doesn't take away the fact that when you, 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 you let out your first cry on your birthday, the sun was in the middle of the sky. So it, it may not mean anything to you, but that doesn't mean it doesn't mean anything at all. As I, as I like to say, you know, the full moon don't mean anything to you. But the tide in the ocean rises when the moon is full. So whether it means anything to you or not, it means something. Things are happening even to you when the moon is full, when the moon is new. That's why when the sun comes up, you wake up. And even though you can stay up all night, when it sets you, you're in a, a different mode, you know, ready to go to sleep. You work with nature. So when Mercury goes into retrograde, it does affect you. Whether you understand it or not, that doesn't change it. It, it affects you. When Jupiter and Saturn has a conjunction, it affects all of us, whether you know it or not. You don't have to believe it. That doesn't change a thing. Very good. So, so I'm just showing you that when you came out of the womb, even when you were conceived, that's some serious stuff. But when you came out of the womb, without a doubt, family, what was taking place in the heavens has a lot to do with who you are. Destiny or destination. And even some would say, characteristics now again just giving you myself so this chapter now there's another chapter the sun moon and planetary positions i want you to listen to this good so number one the sun the location which is its constellation sagittarius so in other words when i was born the sun was in the constellation because again what you're looking at here, 1976, January the 2nd, the, the, the 10.23 in the morning. You see how transparent we are here? Imagine that. Imagine that. <laughs> Some people are ashamed to tell you um, 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 how old they are and all of that kind of stuff. The sun in the constellation of Sagittarius when we were born. Its coordinates right ascension 18 hours 50 minutes 39.26 seconds huh? yeah precisely remember right ascension and declination is latitude and longitude so right ascension 18 hours it, it's not it's not really, you know, said in, in degrees or such, but 18 hours, 50 minutes, 39.26 seconds. And declination, minus 22 uh, hours, 55 minutes, 59.2 seconds so you are getting the precise location of the sun i will repeat again right ascension 18 hours 50 minutes 39.26 seconds declination minus 22 hours some use declination and say degrees minus 22 degrees but I would prefer minus 22 hours, 55 minutes, and 59.2 seconds, precisely. And that, listen to me, that is in 
connection or conjunction with 1023 when I was born. Now it was AM. Now if I was born 1023 PM, the coordinates would be slightly different, but it would still be in Sagittarius. And that's the difference with a precise ancient astronomical reading and an approximate ancient astronomical reading. Very good. Keep that in mind. And then in the chat, you get a, a, a photo, a visual look at where the sun is, just as what you are looking at on the screen, what you're seeing there on the screen. We little, literally provide a, a, a visual. I'm talking about in the document itself that you will receive for those who will be purchasing the natal chart. Then now the moon location, which is again, the constellation Sagittarius. You can see it right there. The moon is in Sagittarius as well as I was born just after the new moon. So there you see it in Sagittarius. Coordinates. Right ascension. 19 hours, 41 minutes. 6.46 seconds. That's where the moon was. Declination. Minus 17 degrees or minus 17 hours, 23 minutes, 5.9 seconds. Now, what's unique about the moon? I mean, in, in, in 10 minutes, the moon have a totally different coordinates because the moon is extremely swift. The moon moves faster than any of the heavenly bodies. We're talking about apparent movement, by the way. So this is why when a person knows exactly when he was born, if I was to tell you I was born the 2nd of January, what time? I don't even know. That leaves a great uh, space there for error. So then now the reading would have to be that the moon, you would have to give the coordinates of, 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 um, of the moon at the beginning of the 2nd of January and then give the coordinates of the moon at the end of the 2nd of January. And the moon is very swift. The moon can change from one constellation to another constellation in about 24 hours. That's how swift it is. The sun wouldn't do that. So giving you just the day itself, you can get a lot out of it. But when you can give the exact time that you were born, that is when you get the real essence. So then Mercury now, again, when I was born, again, I am reading to you my natal chart. At least I'm giving you some aspect of it. The location between Mercury and Capricorn, uh, pardon me, Sagittarius and Capricorn. Mercury was between Sagittarius and Capricorn at the time of my birth. Now remember Mercury, is the swiftest of the planets. Uh, not swift, swifter than the moon, but amongst the planets, as it is the closest to the sun. And as it takes 88 days to go around the sun, it's apparent movement from where we are. You don't see the rate going around the sun, but from where we are, it gives this impression as if it moves fast. You know, so it's here one night and by the time you come back in three nights, it has moved uh, a significant distance because it's Mercury. That's why they named it Mercury or, or, or um, their swift, the swiftest God in the Roman and Greek mythology stuff there. But remember, it is from ancient Kemet. They understood this. We taught them that Mercury was the swiftest planet. They didn't even know it was a planet. They thought it was some hanging balls up there in this, on the ceiling of the dome, you know. So Mercury now, again, location between Capricorn and Sagittarius, coordinates, right ascension, 20 hours, uh, 10 minutes, 10.79 seconds. And listen, let me just come in here again to show you the family. When you hear about natal charts, they usually give you this circle 
Now, this circle you're looking at here, a circle with the, the different lines aligned with supposedly where the sun was when you were born. And obviously, anything dealing with astrology, no matter what technique it's using, the reading will be wrong because astrology is off. That's number one. Now, I'm not trying to put down conventional <laughs> natal chart, read, um, chart readings. When I first encountered them, I, I, I had to study it to really understand what it was about. And then I finally got it. I said, okay, I get it, I get it. But I mean, still, even if it was astronomically aligned, it's okay. But the ancient astronomical way of reading your chart is totally different. That's why I don't come with no circles. Those of you who have been asking me for a natal chart, I don't know if you, you know what's coming in. This ain't no circle with no blue and, and, and yellow angles and red angles. And I do not want to sound disrespectful to those who, whose appetite really goes for that kind of stuff. But this is precise reading to the point, again, that we have two type of natal charts. We have a precise natal chart. Mine is a precise natal chart. If you know exactly when you were born, you will get a precise natal chart. So again, you will get the, 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 the exact coordinates of every planet. Exact coordinates, plus you will get the constellation that it was in. Now, if an individual is not sure when they were born, uh, they might say, well, sometime in the morning, then you would have to still, you would still have to understand where Mercury and Venus was exactly coordinate wise early in the morning and then where they would have been, let's just say, at noon because it was somewhere within that time frame that you were born. That is an approximate, an approximate Nathan chart reading. You see the difference. And it's very important that you understand the difference because the approximate natal chart reading is a bit more costly than the precise natal chart reading. You may say, but that, I don't understand. Of course, you know. Now here it is. The precise natal chart reading is the better one. Like my own is precise. But if I, if I was to say, man, I was born the 2nd of January, you know, 1976, what time? I, I don't know. Then I would have to get an approximate natal chart reading. You know, ask, ask mommy when, you, when, you, when you're born, or what time you were born. If mommy not around, ask your older sister, ask somebody that would know. Ask uncle, ask someone, what, what, you know what time I born? Um, I don't know. I don't, can't remember exactly what time, but I know it was somewhere between 10 and 11, because when I got the call, I remember I was in a meeting and that meeting started at 10, but it was a bit late and whatever, at least you have an idea. Bring that to the table when you come. Now, as I said, we are officially launching. I want you to listen to me, good family. This is very important. On Sunday, the 17th of September, which is just now, a few days from now, we are officially relaunching the Priest Isaacs Institute of Holistic Knowledge website. Yes, and all the things that go with it. But I will be giving a very special presentation. We will be, this is a grand day in the month, family. We will be launching the first in this modern time, ancient astronomical natal chart reading document. It will be for myself and I will present it from beginning to end so you see exactly how it's prepared. Each and every one will be able to get their natal chart reading document as well. Now, of course, I just gave you an introduction here. As you could see, it has an introduction. 
It has the location. I mean, constellation-wise, you will know. Constellation-wise, where sun, moon, and every planet were. And then you will get exact coordinates, which is very important, of where all of these heavenly bodies were, once it's a precise reading. And then after that now, we will be giving you the astronomical interpretation. Now, I only call it that for, for, for just for the title's sake. But it is not me personally telling you what I feel because we already outlined the value and the importance of each of these heavenly bodies. So in, in other words, you know what the constellations, uh, uh, the zodiac constellations, Leo and Virgo and Sagittarius, you already understand what they all stand for and what they mean. Then you have each planet, you understand what they stand for, what they mean, the sun and moon and everything. So when they combine, when two of them are in one constellation, you know what plants, the planets, plan, plant, planets, planet is plants, you know, we just and, and eat. So there are planets that connect to plants, there are planets that connect to constellation, there are plants that connect to to you, depending on which constellation, which planets were under when you were born, and all of these different things, even when you were conceived. Don't don't all, um, rule out when you were conceived too. You understand? So 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 depending on where the planets were and at the time of you coming forward, we will give an astronomical interpretation according to the value of planets, constellations, etc. Not what we think, no makeup thing. I'm not reading your palm. That is why all of you who are students of the ancient astronomical course, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. And even some of you who are not a part of the course, you have a good idea what I'm talking about because we would have touched upon these subjects already, you know, um, in the Tiger's Nest on YouTube, wherever, of how the planets connect to specific um, stones and elements and, and why not no astrology when you understand the makeup of the planet and the makeup of the planet it's deep plus planet earth is the main planet for us it's very deep so your astronomical interpretation will be a very very uh, concise analysis that's really what you are paying for of what all of the heavenly bodies movement during the time of your birth means. Again, if we don't know the exact time, it makes it not more complicated, but it will broaden the direct interpretation then, you know, because we, we, we have to deal with it uh, via the day and consider the whole day. But if you know I born 9, 11 in the morning, we bam, highlight 9-11, and we know exactly, tune it in, clear read it. So you still have an astronomical interpretation, and then after that, you have um, you have a special observation, all of which will be given by me, and the special observation is when I take into consideration now, especially if we get the precise reading, you know, uh, um, not only uh, where the planets were constellation wise but what time these planets rose over the horizon on that day that you were born that's some serious stuff I don't think there's no natal chart reading nearly coming close to anything like that you understand so yes Mars was in Sagittarius Yes, Venus was in wherever Venus was. Jupiter was there. The sun was there. Okay, exactly what time did the sun rise on that day? Maybe I wasn't born yet. But but maybe I was born um, four day morning, as they call it, before the sun rise. But what time did the sun rise? What time did the moon rise? Because the moon may have risen in, in the afternoon, depending on the time of, 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 you know, the type of moon. What time did Mercury rise? What time did Jupiter rise? This is knowledge, family. Anyone out there sucking their teeth and squirming, you are a religious rooster. This is knowledge. Anyone 
anyone that has any you know inclination to knowledge would just love to, to know this stuff you know just to know it you don't even have to follow no belief i have mentioned nothing about belief here even with the even with the interpretation i still didn't bring in anything that sounds uh like your astro guy your astro miss guy or your 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 what's the other stuff there your horrible scope or horoscope as they call it you know family so again everyone will be in a position we are officially launching this on sunday and then from there on you can get your natal chart of course when you desire but remember now sunday we are asking those of you who desire to be a part of this event via zoom to email us Yes, the event will be on YouTube. But if you are with us in the Zoom link, you will get the special offer as it relates to the natal chart. Now, the natal chart, listen to me. Let me get a pen and paper and write this information. The natal chart is $175. That's You get your own personal natal chart. You will see it Sunday. Sunday, you will see for yourself how it looks, what it's all about. You understand? I'm going to go through my natal chart from beginning to end. I gave you a little snip here, but from beginning to end, you're going to see everything, pictures, everything on Sunday, the 17th day of, of which month there now? Of September. And that is the relaunch of the website, not just the launch of the natal chart. We're going to have so many other things going on on that day. But those of you who will be with us in the Zoom link, you have the opportunity to get your natal chart on that day for only $75. Listen to me, good you know. The value of it, well, not even the value as such, because $175 is, is, is still um, a very, very, a very humble price for the work that I put into preparing a natal chart. That's why it takes seven to 14 days. They don't get it the next day. It takes seven to 14 days for you to get your natal chart because I got to study it and precisely too. So you're getting a proper document from me if you want it for only $175. I think that's a wonderful price. Straight up, family. Yeah. But on that day, during the event, those who are in the Zoom will have the opportunity to get it for only $75. Now, we have a lot of other offers on that day, you know. Like, for example, on that day, those who are going to shop from our Whole Foods store, our Whole Foods store, where you get your cashews, your almond butter, your honey, your agave, uh, your dry herbs, our Whole Foods store. Yeah, man, the Institute, our Whole Foods store, wonderful products, uh, organic products, uh, um, 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 you know, uh, competitive prices as well. Our whole whole foods uh, stores. Anyone who literally patronizes the whole food store on that day, they will be definitely getting a free copy of the brand new book, The Rudiments of Ancient Astronomy, and they will also be getting a free copy of The Night of the Black Tiger. They don't have to be in the Zoom for that one there whoever they are remember we will be broadcasting via the, the youtube and also broadcasting via the zoom so again prepare yourself to see exactly what the natal chart reading document is all about because i'm sure everyone will want their own document at the end of the day when you get your document nobody can come and knock you know fish story and you know, all around the story and this and that, and you know, let me read your palm, and, and your rising star is this, and, and you must, re, re, you know, wear purple lipstick and all of them jazz. No, no one can run that around you because you would have, you know, tuned into your ancient astronomical chart for sure. Now, also, listen to me, family. Remember, we have an, an uh, uh, you have the precise natal chart and the approximate natal chart, and the approximate natal chart is for those who do not know exactly what time they were born and that is a tad bit more expensive as i said as that one goes for 250 dollars and i mean the family is, is just understanding it is more work believe me 
because you don't know the exact time. So it has a broader expression. The interpretation is much broader. And then we have to give several uh, coordinates uh, and, and even in between. So please understand that. Um, the best thing for you to do is to find out exactly when you were born and you make it easy for us. And, and the precise the precise natal chart reading, although it is so-called cheaper, is the better reading. I'm sure you comprehend what I'm saying. But you could also get that for half the price on that day if you're in the Zoom link. Um, that's 125. Family, you don't have to pay to come into the Zoom links for sure. But the, 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 the Zoom link is special because after the webinar, when we seal up the YouTube, the Zoom link will continue and we will have a special viewing of the night of the Black Tiger. So it's going to be a wonderful day. So family, give thanks continually. Remember, you have to email us to get your Zoom link. Email us to get your Zoom link. And I must say, um, where I am at here at the recording of this, you'll see this on Premiere or even uh, on a replay or something. But at the recording of this, I am coming very close to the Holy Sabbath. So I'm just going to give you a little listen to this uh, before I bid you, you know, a wonderful evening. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to come and speak to you again before I go. Rastafari. Sunday, the 17th of September, 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join us on Zoom and on YouTube for the official relaunch of the Priest Isaac's Institute of Holistic Knowledge website, PriestIsaacInstitute.com. Our website has been upgraded and has been made more easily accessible to you. On PriestIsaacInstitute.com, you will find all that you need for your holistic growth. We offer certified courses in ancient astronomy and ancient archaeoastronomy, as well as our international homeschool program for children of all ages. At PriestIsaacInstitute.com, we not only offer our books, video documentaries, and webinars, we also have available food preparation courses and cooking classes in the field of raw foods as well as idle plant-based diseases. Do you shop online for your nuts, grains, etc.? We have that too. Get all your necessities from your agave, honey, spices, all your nuts and so on. Now don't forget our online clothing labeled with our icon. You can get your sweaters, t-shirts, even hoodies. The Tiger's Nest. And speaking of the Tiger's Nest, Radio Anu International, 24-hour internet radio, giving you positive, conscious information and inspiration throughout the day. Again, on the 17th of September, 2023 mark the date from 2 to 4 p.m eastern standard time join us on zoom or on the priest isaac's youtube channel for the official relaunch of priest isaac institute.com zoom vips will receive a special gift to get your zoom link go to the website priest isaac institute.com or email us at Institute at gmail.com 17th of September be there and yes those in the zoom they, they, they're getting special gifts you know and, and other special offers and I mean everyone will be getting special offers on that day you better believe it so you don't even have to worry about that for sure we're just asking you to make sure that you are in the house with us but you should get your zoom link but there are other special gifts and offers that those in the Zoom will be getting. You don't have to pay for your Zoom link, you know, family. Just contact us, uh, uh, email us, and let us know. I would like my Zoom link. I want to be in the VIP Zoom link on Sunday. And remember, uh, uh, you will get your, those of you who will be getting your natal chart on that day, you will get it for only $75 if you're in the Zoom link. 
And of course, the value of it is 175 in general. Plus, there will be special gifts for those in the Zoom link, and there will be special offers for everyone on Sunday, the 17th day of September 2023. Beautiful from 2 to 4. Well, from 4 to about 5.30 for those in the Zoom link, <laughs> as we'll be watching the video, The Night of the Black Tiger, which is the divinity of Marcus Messiah Garvey. But again, those who will be shopping on the, on the online um, store, the online health food store, you will be getting a free copy of The Night of the Black Tiger. If you shop that that specific day, you will be getting a copy of the Night of the Black Tiger. So that's how we do it here, family. And of course, the rudiments, the brand new book, the rudiments of ancient astronomy. So that's how we do it, family. We celebrate and we give back. We celebrate and we share. We celebrate and we encourage buy black and eat black and walk black and talk black. As you can clearly see, we, we encourage economics here. We you don't hear us come and say press the donate button. Not that we don't have a donate button that you can press it. Yeah, but that is not our mantra. Not that we never say you can contribute if you desire. Yeah, I think I would have said so a few times. But that ain't no regular talk. But we encourage, we inspire. I honestly know that we inspire. And ones would have showed us that. And I'm honored that we could inspire those of us in the, in the conscious community to be more business-minded. Some of us, we sit on our spiritual laurels, laurels and forget that the king show us that this is a balance. The king dealing with all the kings, dealing with generational wealth. Eh? Marcus gave his generational wealth. King Emmanuel is economical freedom. Yeah, important. So, so, so that is very, that's a very key part of us as conscious people in the rise. We have to learn to network. We have to learn to build our empire together. And even before we build an empire together, we have to build our own empire. You have to start with yourself, build yourself and discipline yourself and and, 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 and invest in yourself. And then your family, your community, your, your club, your group, your, your church, your you know, and rise the standard and, and as much as possible, reach out universally, internationally to, to all of those who are like-minded so you can help even those who are not like-minded. Like this, this is a work of love we deal with, family. This is all about love, you know? It is because we have been in it for so long. We understand that, okay, this is what it takes to get this done. This is what it takes to get this done. This is what it takes to get this done. And sometimes it may look like we're dealing with what it takes now, but we're dealing with what we need to get done. Hey, give thanks to the Lord of the Sabbath. Eh? Hey, family, look for me tomorrow evening and Sunday. We're going to be definitely launching Radio Anu. TV, huh? Yeah, man, Radio Anu TV, right here on the YouTube. Radio Anu TV, They're telling you truth, the truth, a vision, I'm telling you. Yeah, so make sure you're here Sunday morning early with the uprising with us. Just tune into YouTube Sunday morning. We're right here, and we definitely will be carrying you throughout the morning so you won't be mourning anymore. Hey, give thanks to the Sabbath, Lord of the Sabbath, Holy Emmanuel, I, Silasi, I, Ja. Rastafari. Bless the Lord.